Okay guys, in this video we are going to discuss quickly how to practice right from dictation questions in listening and we'll look into some questions, we'll discuss some tips and tricks and at the same time we'll also discuss why some people fail to remember the sentence and if there is anything we can do about it. So let's get it started. Um, this is our new website and if you are one of those students who are enrolled in our courses and for your information you can also enroll in our free courses as well to have access to uh, the questions and materials on the website you can go to the listening section scroll down to the bottom go to the practice section and start practicing the questions here so let's look at our first question here what I'm going to do now is I'll start this practice session and the session will continue by itself your job is to answer these questions note it down on your notebook and later on at the end we'll have a discussion uh, about the answers and we'll see whether you did it in the right way or not and if not what were the things that could have improved your performance there won't be any struggles in the lab Textile manufacturer plays a large role in improving economies. The theme of the instrumental work exhibits more of a demure compositional style. The author's previous works are more theoretical and less experimental. Remember, the prestigious selection has a strict eligibility criteria. Neurons are principally involved in chemical processes.
please remember to bring a highlighter and your textbook to class next Wednesday. The cafeteria features sandwiches, salads, soup, chicken and fish. The same approach reads the same explanation of the problem. Final year business students have to write a 5,000 word essay on market trends. So we have now finished our practice. We can check our answers in our system. First, you can finish one set. And once you finish the set, then you can check your answers. The reason I don't think it's a good idea to check your answer after every question is you are preparing for the test where you cannot check your answer after every single question. And even if you're uncertain about your uh, answer you still have to move to the next question so it's a good idea to train your brain to um, adjust to a situation like this so that you go to the next question immediately after finishing one question or when you think you are ready even if you have not checked the answer so once you have finished the whole set it's time to check the answer so let's have a look at the answers before we start discussing why your answers perhaps were wrong or right now you can see uh, on our system you can actually see how you have been doing on this particular set you can compare your performance from the past um, practice sessions with the current session to see if you are improving or not and now when you go inside you can check the answers one by one so you can play the recording and you can check the transcript as well the first one was there won't be any struggles in the lab the second one now you can actually pause the video and check your answer because I'll be moving from one answer to another answer immediately but if you need more time to do that you can simply pause the video check your answer and then go to the next answer and check whether you have found the right answer you have written it in the correct way or not and I will discuss what is the correct way to answer the question later so the second one is textile manufacturer plays a large role in improving economies Number three is the theme of the instrumental work exhibits more of a demure compositional style. Four is the author's previous works are more theoretical and less experimental. Fifth, the member of the prestigious selection has strict eligibility criteria. Number six is neurons are principally involved in chemical processes. 
7. Please remember to bring a highlighter and your textbook to class next Wednesday. 8. The cafeteria features sandwiches, salads, soup, chicken and fish. And 9 is the same approach, reads the same explanation of the problem. And 10. Finally, your business students have to write a 5000 word essay on market trends. So now you have seen how we are actually supposed to what, how we are actually supposed to answer these questions. Let's discuss a few things that may have caused trouble while answering the question. So the first reason some of us cannot get our desired score is because of the mistakes we make. And these mistakes can be spelling mistakes, can be grammatical mistakes, or can be mistakes in actually identifying the word which was used by the speaker. Because in English, many times, we may not uh, be able to distinguish to similar sounding words and in some other cases uh, if the word is the word we are hearing for the first time then it becomes extremely difficult or even impossible to guess the word or to spell it in the correct way so when you do one set what I suggest is just look at the answers and find out the words that you are seeing for the first time or the words that you think you can't spell because this way you will be able to deal with these words in the actual test. Now you know that in the actual test many of these questions will repeat and because we have got a large collection of questions here if you go through all the questions you will perhaps get the same question in the exam and you will be able to answer them and get the score. But the only barrier to that, the only huddle will be spelling those words out in the correct manner and that will require you to be conscious of the words you are seeing on the screen. So if you see any word that you think you are seeing for the first time, note it down when you are practicing so that next time when you hear that word or when you have to spell that word you will not have any problem. So in the first question I don't think there are any atypical or difficult words. In the second, manufacturer can be one difficult word for some of us. So it's a good idea to spend some time spelling out the word, practicing its spelling. In the third question, instrumental, exhibits, demur, and compositional. These are four words that I think you need to pay attention to. Number four, you have to think about theoretical because this word is spelled in a slightly different way than it's actually spelled. Uh, number five is strict eligibility, prestigious. These are some of the words you can think of. Number six, neurons, not a very commonly used word. It's a medical word, so if you are not familiar, it's a good idea to learn its spelling. Principally is another word which many people misspell. Number seven, uh, it's, it's a just a typical sentence with common words, but still have a look and decide whether you can spell them or not. Number eight, cafeteria is a word that you may need to get familiar with and learn how to spell. Number nine has mostly common words and number 10 again has common words. So the first step, as I said, is you review your performance. You reflect on where you may have gone wrong. You think about the issues you may have encountered, uh, which may have reduced your score. So think what could be the reason because of which you could not answer some of those questions. And usually, as I said, these reasons are either you uh, have problem with the spelling or you are not familiar with the word. So the first round is be familiar and learn the spelling. The second round, look at the grammatical structure of the sentence and check if you've made any grammatical errors in the sentence construction. For example, if we look at these questions here in the middle, we have struggles. Now, did you hear struggle or struggles? Or you actually can't remember what you heard and you can't even also grammatically guess what could be the word. So if you have this kind of problems, it's a good idea to spend some time learning some basic rules of grammar, like singular subject requires singular verb or plural subject requires plural verb and so on. Because this way, in many situations, even if you don't hear the word correctly, you'll be able to guess uh, the grammatical form of the word and write it in the correct manner. So if you look at these sentences here, the places where some of us may get confused are textile manufacturer or manufacturers, play or please, economies or economy, 
because these may sound very uh, similar so the only way we can deal with this is by becoming familiar with the grammatical construction of the sentences so when you are practicing check the grammatical construction of the sentence the structure of the sentence and try to have a logic behind what you're doing try to learn the logic because this will reduce the time you spend on memorizing these sentences and your concept will get stronger and stronger for the exam so just like that you can check number three number four number five and so on and then you will be able to avoid this kind of mistakes but the biggest challenge i think is remembering the full sentence because often it's quite difficult to remember long sentences and if um, your short-term memory is not that good then it becomes even more difficult now regarding short-term memory it has nothing to do with your language skill or your language skill often is not that much dependent on your short-term memory but your ability to remember a sentence actually depends on how much you understand about the sentence construction in english for your exam uh, a quick tip can be this most of the sentences that you get in the exam can be broken into three phrases the first phrase usually tells you the actor that means who did something and what was the main um, point i mean what was the main subject then the other phrase will be about the action so what happened this part usually will contain a verb and a few words which will qualify the verb which will give you more information about the verb and the last part usually will be activity so what actually happened so in a way this is more about subject verb and object arrangement of the sentences so when you are listening to a sentence uh, when you are trying to remember the sentence don't focus on individual words but try to find out these three phrases the one that contains the actor the other which contains the action and the last one which tells you more about the activity so these are three A's of a sentence which will help you to get A in your exam. Now once you have done that, when you are writing, how should you do it? Listen to the sentence. When the sentence, uh, when the speaker is speaking, it's a good idea to pay full attention to the speaker so that it can capture as many phrases as you can. Then you start writing. While writing, keep repeating the sentence you heard and then keep writing as well at the same time. If you think that you are a slow writer, in that case, I suggest that you first write the keywords from each part, the first, second, and the third phrases, and then expand that into a complete sentence. As an example, if the sentence is, let's say, textile manufacturer plays a large role in improving economies, then I would say textile manufacturer as is the first phrase, plays a large role is the second phrase and in improving economies is the third phrase. So what I will do is um, I'll write in short form maybe text and man for the first one and play and role in the second one and IMP and ECO in the third one. And then I'll keep repeating the sentence. Keep repeating the sentence in my head and now in the second attempt I'll expand these short forms into complete words. Once I finish this, my third task would be to check the grammatical form of the words and check the spelling. So in dictation, so there are three steps of actually writing the sentence. The first step is listen carefully, paying attention to three phrases. The second part is write down the keywords from each phrase in short form as quickly as you can. Third is complete the sentence using the words that you require to grammatically complete the sentence and if in cases uh, if um, for any reason you can't remember the whole sentence or you miss a few words either guess or ignore them because this is a question where you get points for every word you can write down so even if you miss one word you might still be getting points for the others that you wrote correctly so this is just a brief idea about how to do write from dictation questions. Of course, you may have other questions in your mind and you may have your own individual specific questions. If you have those questions, write in the comments so that I can answer them later. And if you want to practice in the same way I showed you in this video, then head into our website. The link you can find in the description and there you can enroll in our free course and get it started. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.